beloved soul. So it's in the middle of the night once more here <laughs> for some reason. Um, Divine Masculine tends to wake me up <laughs> and I'm so sorry about all the feathers. This is my table and um, Divine Masculine always wants me to to do some saging before we start. Okay, um, it's the fire and the, the elements and stuff like that that's important to this Divine Masculine. So, so you're gonna do that together with me and um, well, the energy that I'm feeling right now is something is really up uh, with this Divine Masculine. I'm feeling uh, fear. I'm feeling very, very, very emotional. Um, and uh, like something is going on and it's a big deal. It's a, a huge release in this energy here. So um, and I'm almost now crying because of, well, the energy that he's sending me. So um, like... Um, it's, it's an, an energy of, I don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. I'm, I'm stuck in my own emotions. I'm afraid. I'm afraid to act. I'm afraid of a lot of things. And um, I just, I care for you so much, that he's saying. Um, so, um, I've never felt this way before. Never tried this before. I, I don't know how to deal with it. I don't know how to act on it. I don't know if I can, if I'm able to. Um, uh, I feel like sometimes it's too much for me. It's too much for me, and um, I really want to be strong. I really, really want to be strong for you. But um, I don't know if I can be that strong. Um, I'm really trying to. I'm getting. Okay. So I'll just leave it here and um, put it to the side. <clears throat> and um, we'll get started here. So, um, oh my God. So this Divine Masculine is... Uh, really uh, feeling it I'm getting um, and I'm being uh, pulled to the shadow cards here to use these cards my friend Stine makes them her name is Stine Kihol Anderson I'll put a link uh, below for her and these cards she makes them herself um, they're so beautiful she draws so so beautifully and, and paints is like magic when she paints so <laughs> I can really recommend her um, all right so this divine masculine what's going on okay now we're talking about both okay so we're doing a divine feminine and divine masculine read or what yeah divine feminine and this is the divine feminine fear of rejection okay so don't we know that <laughs> divine feminines um and uh, this time feminine is like, I'm so afraid that you're going to end this before it ever is happening, you know, it, before it ever took place or something like that. That's an energy divine feminine is telling me right now. I forgot to say that it's a full moon also. It's a hunter's moon and Chiron is a kind of a big deal <laughs> tonight. That means um, that we have... Um, uh, a lot of uh, cleaning up to do. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm supposed to take one more. Uh, the fear of failing. Okay, so um, the mind feminine is like, mm, uh, or is that, is that, this was for divine masculine, I'm sorry. Okay, um, and between them, we're having outer life. Okay. So we'll talk about them now. Yeah. 
Okay, so divine feminine is like, I am so tired of being rejected. I've been rejected all my life by all these divine masculines all the time. And I'm, I don't know why I'm still seeking it, why I'm still inviting it into my life. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with me? Um, divine feminine is coming in and saying, I'm like, you know, um, I'm so loving. I'm just, I know I just, I'm just full of love. I'm full of light. I'm just so giving and and compassionate i'm so friendly and um and i don't deserve this treatment and i just really want to change that manifestation inside of me that i do unconsciously i manifest this kind of divine masculine that con constantly will reject me and reject me all over again be hot and then cold and then hot and then cold coming in and out like a circus clown what the heck you know what is happening why is this still happening to me okay so um divine feminine also is a very very annoyed in this reading and uh um and really right now working on this fear of rejection divine masculine is like well i'm doing this because of my fear of failing and, and, and he has card number one, Divine Feminine has card number nine. And together they make it ten, right? So, um, and I really want to come in correct and I'm really trying to. Uh, I feel like this Divine Masculine is like, I really am trying so hard to look a certain way or come in a certain way, really, really doing my best, you know, uh, I want this to be victorious. I want this to, to you to see me as someone, you know, great, you know, the knight in shining armor that, you know, you can fall for or, uh, so they put so much pressure on themselves in this energy here. Like, I'm so tired. I, I'm almost, I'm so exhausted because I'm, when I'm with you, it makes me so exhausted. But it's not that divine feminine makes them, you know, exhausted. It's them and their expectations. They put them on upon themselves. It's not divine feminine. It's like I don't. I'm not asking for that. I'm just not. And they're like, I know you're not, but I don't know how to switch it off because I keep doing it to myself as well. You know. I, and so both of these energies are like struggling with old patterns and they're like, ah, come on, why do I keep on manifesting the same pattern in my life all over again and again and again? It hasn't worked out for me up until now. So why and when do I reach the point where I release it for good and where I really truly get it? Um, and it's all about um, I'm getting it's all about pers you know uh, gaining a new perspective upon yourself and and not letting others control your life and and uh, expectations from other people control your life and again also an energy of uh well, this relationship being from another world I'm getting. It's like these two, oh my God, these two energies are like, I'm hearing the word spaceships. I'm hearing, I'm hearing way out in the universe uh, energies. Um, so, uh, um, and... And I feel like you're put here on earth to change it together. And uh, and none of you have felt really um, safe here. And none of you have felt really understood here. And, uh, and now you're meeting each other. And you have these life patterns that you really don't like about yourself. But And then, you know, something is bringing you together. And it's the energy of well did you all always feel like uh, out there you know did you always feel like you didn't fit in anywhere or because me too you know uh, we both kind of like that <laughs> and um yeah 
And now when I say that, both of them start crying. Both of them are like relieved that now we're talking about that. Because this is what's been weighing on them. They're saying, okay. But it's like now we're also sort of talking about their tribe. And then how they know each other from this tribe. And um, how they are supported by their tribe. So huge things are happening with this full moon right now. Um, I'm, uh, I'm not kidding. These energies are so strong. Um, because both of them are simultaneously digging really, really deep now. Uh, and really, really, really uh, washing, you know, um, whatever is uh, traumatic inside, whatever has been holding them back. And it's almost to the point of a breakup, you know? It's like I really have to let you go, but it's not to let the other go. It's ha having to let this go. What's happening in each of them? And it... And I feel like they are here on the third dimension right now, confused about what the heck am I letting go of? Is it you or is it me or my stuff, you know? Um, it's um, not really um, clear <laughs> uh, or, well, they're not completely conscious about what's going on. So they sort of project it upon the other. Like it's because what you said and what you did or what, you know, and I'm not doing that anymore or whatever, you know, and it's really not about them. It's, it really isn't. It's about what's going on inside of both of you. That divine feminine is letting go of the fear of rejection and divine masculine is letting go of the fear of failing because of one another. You have made each other, uh, well, catalyzed this change inside of one another. That's why you met. But right now, it's just one of those rough, rough times. It's just one of those, you know, <sighs> things you just have to uh, go through, I'm getting. Okay, let's uh, just take a few cards from the love, universal love, to see where they are at um, deep inside, uh, emotionally, um, toward each other here. What's going on? Wow, this is so emotional, this reading. Oh, okay. What? The full moons can really, really, really take us there, I feel like. So, um, Divine Feminine, please, a card for Divine Feminine. There we go. Inner Child. Yeah. Okay. And the fear of rejection, you see? Um, this inner child is being healed from this fear of this rejection. And I'm, I'm hearing this... Divine Feminine's inner child is coming out because of that Divine Masculine. It's like this Divine Masculine is making her feel so happy again and so youthful again and so alive again. And um, and that's the, you know, the, the biggest joy you can ever, you know, receive. It's just, uh, well feeling like you're alive, you're allowed to be uh, your inner child again, become your inner child again. So awaken your inner child again. And this is like, whoa, you know, um, this is what I've been wanting because this is who I am. This is truly who I am. And when I'm with you, you make me feel like that. You make me just be who I am. And there is so much joy in this energy, so much joy. And I'm like, my feminine is like, I don't know if I can live without it. I don't think I can. I don't think I can live without it. And if you're not there, you know, bringing it out in me, what, what should I do about, you know, what should I do? 
how do I maintain this feeling of just being me? And that's the work. That's the work of letting go of the rejection, the fear of rejection. The work is to become your inner child, not because of anybody else, but just because you become your inner child, divine feminine. Okay, so um, let's see what's going on here for divine masculine fear. Okay, divine masculine fear of failing. What do you feel right now? What's going on right now? Uh, okay, um, I think that was the one, the gateway here. Okay, so um, well, and birth. We have birth in the bottom here of the, this one. And the goddess. So, <clears throat> so what's going on right here is that um, divine masculine is working on it right now uh, because of this divine feminine. I feel like this divine feminine came in with a very very high vibration and uh, and sort of blew him away like whoa <laughs> wait a minute what's going on here you know oh my god because they sort of see divine feminine as this real goddess not only like, like you look like a goddess or you know oh, you're so sexy and cute and you know no this is a goddess this is a real goddess like from the divine this is an energy that is so familiar to him. And then again, something that he sort of forgot about, I'm hearing. And now it's all coming back, they're saying. Okay, so because he's going through a birth, he's, he's you know, walking across the bridge or walking through this gateway. And we have, I feel like we have another birth tonight. For some of you might have seen my last um, midnight uh, reading and we were doing a we were helping divine masculine really go through a gateway and helping him to rebirth you know and these you know these birth situations can come again and again you know because once we go through one portal, then we're, you know, we're safe for a little while and then we go through the next and then, you know, that's how it goes. But, and I feel like we're doing it again. Right now, it's about the fear of failing and it's about feeling good enough and feeling like I'm good the way I am. I don't need to be perfect, just like you are. And I really love it when you shine and when you become your inner child. I just can't stop looking at you. I can't stop listening to you. I can't stop. I just love it when you smile. I love it when your eyes sparkle. I love it when I just look at you. Uh, this divine masculine is like also very lo loving you when you're naked. If some of you have seen each other naked and they sort of remember that or they are longing for that or um i'm just hearing this full moon is helping divine masculine go through another birth okay so between you your feelings and your love relationship between you Balance. <laughs> Tweenies. <laughs> oh. Actually, I had a client and her grandmother came, her deceased grandmother came and uh, her deceased grandmother said, said the word that she and her boyfriend was twins. My client and her boyfriend were twins. Her deceased grandmother said that. And then my client said, oh, no, you're kidding. I call him Twinny and he calls me Flamey, she said. 
<laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> and they definitely are twins. So, um, and they're together and it's so happy. <laughs> okay. So it can happen, you guys. Um, here we have balance. This is what we're looking for. This is what we're searching for. Now both of them are crying with relief. <laughs> and my feelings are like, oh, finally. Oh, so they are actually relieved that it looks like this. Because none of them want to, you know, be apart from the other. None, none of them want to break up. They just want to figure this out. Okay, that's what I'm seeing and getting here. Yeah, so in the bottom we have retreat. And uh, I'm, I'm getting a, a, some different things about this. Like, you know, um, this will take some time, you know, there, there will have to be some patience uh, needed here. But also that some of you could, it would help if you went on a retreat or somewhere with this person. Uh, if if you can go for a little I don't know travel or whatever um, so they're saying that but here we have the twins you see the, the yin yang the balance between them so tonight we're going to be using the Mary Elta rule it's been so long since I've been doing it so and I love these cards so much they're so high vibrate, 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 vibrate. <laughs> why can't I speak? Uh, high vibrational, I think I want to say. Is that what, what I wanted to say? Oh, okay. So, um, this is a crazy read between these divine masculine, divine feminine, because they are so working right now. They are, I feel like, just before the goal line and that's when it becomes really fucking scary it's like what you know i don't know I don't, i'm not sure if i really want to reach that goal because oh my god it's so scary you know <laughs> but the energy is so intense because that you know of you know um the far that, that they have gone you, you see, so um, Divine Feminine comes out as the Queen of Swords, okay? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I just, I, I really don't know. It's like that energy, <laughs> okay? Uh, do you understand what I'm trying to say here? Like, uh, you know... <clears throat> I'm, I'm starting to doubt this, you know, I'm starting to doubt you, I'm just starting to doubt everything about this, because um, I don't know if I, I can do this anymore. Um, it doesn't seem to, you know, change, it doesn't seem to get anywhere, I'm just over it, I'm just that, in that energy with this Queen of Swords. Like, I've done everything. I've done everything I could, you know. Um, I just, um, yeah, I've tried not to manipulate you. Really, I've been really good on, <laughs> on not doing that. I've just tried to be nice and just, you know, be myself. And I, if I wanted to see you or contact you or join you or whatever, I just did, you know. Like, I, 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 I was letting my heart lead me. And that was all I did. I wasn't being manipulative. I wasn't being anything but me. Um, but I did hold my, my feelings back. A lot of my feelings, I held them back. And now I'm sort of really being a little uptight, you know, because I, I, I'm, I bottled up so many feelings and I'm like, ah, oh, you know, I can't, you know, fit more feelings I need to get them out uh, and these are, are just loving feelings and words and caring compassionate energies that's like I just want to say I love you I want to be with you I just want to kiss you I want to make love with you I want to you know go out with you I want to enjoy this love 
I just want to take a breath in, the, in, in this love. I just want to dive into it and, and let myself be free in this love instead of all the, you know, I, uh, I'm tired of it. And masculine, what's going on over here? Strength. <laughs> so I'm gaining my strength here. Yeah. <clears throat> So there is a little problem and issue with this strength because it can sort of make this uh, divine uh, masculine um, put too many boundaries up because it can become a stubbornness instead of just um, a spiritual journey uh, well about becoming a stronger soul and more powerful uh, internal soul you, you carry inside because you love yourself and you trust yourself and you um, you're confident but there is something about sin coming up here with this strength card um, there is something about sin concerning lust um, actually in uh, in the Al Alistair Crowley deck, uh, this card is called Lust, right? And we have a lion and we have a, uh, a woman uh, sort of, well, has, who has tamed the lion completely, you know? And the lion is just laying there and being her waiter, you know? Um, and there is something a little sexual coming up here that is is annoying this divine masculine i don't know why but it's um who can i touch how much can i touch um am i am i good enough am am i worthy of your touch am i worthy of touching you am am i doing something wrong am, am i um what if i'm not good enough what if i can't what if i um I don't know why this is coming up, but this hand here is sort of guiding me to say this. Um, and so they're struggling with something else inside that has nothing to do with divine feminine. And there is the fear of fail failure connected to. Like, do I look good enough? Am I, you know, am, am I, you know, big enough? Am I, you know, am I pretty enough? Am I attractive enough? Am I worthy of you and your beauty? Am I all these different kind of things? Am I experienced enough? Yeah. So. And... And between them, between them, what's going on in love? Eight of Cups. No, 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 no. We don't want the Eight of Cups. So um, what I'm getting here is overall, you know that you're twins, but right now you're contemplating if you're going to, if you should leave each other, like we just said, because you're struggling, both of you, right this minute when we're talking about this. Okay. Eight of Cups is leaving a love relationship behind. So that's an, a now moment energy I'm hearing. Okay. But it's a really hard, it's really hard to leave. It's almost not possible. Because it's like you're sort of, I'm looking for the English word. Um, you know, you're wrapped in, into it. You're wrapped into it, the love. The love has wrapped you around each other. 
and you're sort of it's not really possible to actually um, move in this wrap here um, there is something bigger than you that is holding on to it there is something bigger than you holding on to it we have another lion here to see the lion's face do you see anything oh sorry I, I i didn't see there was a shadow so but and the lion's you know arms here and wrapping himself around this woman here so it's almost impossible to leave that's in an energy i'm come um, that's coming in okay all right so let's go back to divine feminine what is divine feminine's deepest intuition right now okay i was supposed to take this five of swords okay <clears throat> all right so um I don't want, I, I just don't want to be in this abusive relationship anymore. I'm tired of it. So Divine Feminine's deepest instinct right this minute is to get the hell out of there. Oh, okay. Um, I'm taking care of me. I'm taking care of what what is mine. I'm taking care of my stuff, my goods, my life, my love, my um, the people I care about. Um, I just, I... Uh, I need to take care of me. Okay. What is Divine Masculine's deepest instinct right now? What is Divine Masculine's deepest instinct? There we go. Six of Discs. Okay. That's Six of Pentacles. So, <sighs> their deepest instinct is to give and receive equally, and uh, and I'm also sort of hearing and and to bring you a bouquet of flowers. You deserve that, and uh, and to listen to the angels and God about this relationship. And acknowledging that we have a relationship and it's important and that is something that I want in my life something that I want to work on something that I want to give to And that I want to sort of see how it can grow, how it can unfold, how, how beautiful it, it, it can be, you know. So, yeah, they're finding their strength and they're sort of understanding now that they have to put in the work. Okay, so let's see <coughs> what we can have for both of you. <coughs> Then the work means telling you how I feel. That's why my voice was weird. Okay, so for both of you, we have the King of Swords. Mm -hmm. So um, this is clarity, and it's um, about. Um, we also have the Ten of Swords, about you know letting the past go and and the fear go and and all the you know the bullshit whatever is has been holding us back letting it go and um and and talking uh, in a clear way um, directly toward each other and you know have have a good and clear talk why we actually say what's on our minds here okay and um so um so this is definitely a a, a common instinct you have together okay that both of you want that you don't want the past in your life you don't want the trauma trauma you don't want you know any confusion anymore you just you you just want to you know tell each other how you feel okay so what is it that divine feminine wants right now 
two of wands. So for there to be an opening, a plan, Divine Feminine wants a plan. I'm like, I'm so tired of not knowing when or why or what, you know, or who, or uh, I just, I need a plan. I just need to know, you know, small things like when is, when is the next time we're going to see each other, you know, or what are we going to do together or, you know, <laughs> uh, come on, just let's make a plan, you know, and, and that's all I want, right? Um, because I'm wondering sometimes when do can we see each other or you know the, the, because of this hot cold energy over here you know um, when will something happen between us you know so so what is that divine masculine wants please what is the that divine masculine wants we, two came card came out okay we have queen of cups and six of cups okay really okay now divine feminine is crying okay i'm just hearing she's crying she's like what are you saying uh, to me do you want love like the queen of love can bring is this the kind of love that you want with me and do you really think we're soulmates like i'm so yeah, Divine Feminine, it was like very instantly very relieved and very like, oh, like I uh, felt it in her heart that, oh my God, he loves me. He really loves me. And I, I, I always th thought I knew, but why didn't you say anything? It's been a guessing game. It's been a guessing game for Christ's sake. So, um, okay. So with that, knowing what do both of them want. The tower, <laughs> something to change. Okay. So let, let's not, and the hero friend. All right. So, okay, you guys. So here we have both of them are like now we got we want to start all over again. We just want to start all over again. Let this stupid relationship with all the doubt and all the shit just burn to the ground. Let's let let it let it burn to the ground. Because this is not who we are. This is not what we have been longing for and waiting for and hoping for. So what we want is to get married, my God. We want to marry each other. Because we both know that we come from the same source, the same tribe. We are, look at these twins, who is, you know, uh, receiving the universal loving energy from this mother who's holding them. We know that we are twins. We know that we are, we come from the same. We are one soul. And we are feeding from the same source. We know that. We know we came from the same source. And we just want to go back. We want to go back. to hang out in this, this source, in this tribe, together with each other, because we can, we can, because we are twins. Okay, we can. That's what you want. So what is it that is going to happen? What is it that is going to happen? Divine family, what will happen? Knight of Wands. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, I'm hearing, okay, so, uh, are you telling me you want me now or what? <laughs> hmm, let me think about it, you know. <laughs> uh, 
but I know I'm sexy. I know I'm a catch. I know that about myself. I know um, my worth and um, uh, but you tell me what to do. I'm a match. You can, but you you need to fire it up. You know, I'm a I'm I'm a, I'm, I'm the stick, but you need to fire it up. That's what I'm getting from Divine Feminine. So the camera just uh, shut down. <clears throat> That's great because actually I did pull more cards. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to take them. Uh, all right. So we're talking about Divine Feminine. What is it that Divine Feminine wants? It's like for Divine Masculine to take some responsibility. All right. So um, and to feel alive again, I'm getting here to you know light me up again you know because what we had was so great uh, so i wanted you to light me up again all right so the next cards i drew for divine masculine is what is it that divine masculine wants and we had the death card <laughs> all right so divine masculine is like uh i want that change i really want to change i have been wanting to change for so long I don't know why I haven't been able to at, and uh, it's I feel like it's been a burden for me my entire life that I've been like this is I've, I've been saying to myself there is something wrong with me there is something wrong with me since I, I just I'm always so afraid of failure and when I meet a woman I'm like hello you know yeah, I, you're so exciting. I want to, you know, have a girlfriend, a boyfriend. I, I just really want to hook up, you know. But, and then when it comes to it, ah, I don't know. I, something happens inside of me. I don't know what to do. Um, I sort of really, I pull back. I don't know why I have this fear of commitment. What's wrong with me? And they're like, um, they're wanting to let that go. Okay. And uh, and I, I was asking, um, what is it, you know, what's dying here with the death card? And the four of discs come, came in. And the four of discs is, you know, when you, uh, when you really hold on to your heart very, very tight. You know, when, you, when, you, when, you, when you, you're not really, truly able to uh, or wanting to open it up towards someone or allowing anyone to come in you really really hold it tight you know and 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 that's what they want to change that's what divine masculine is saying here i'm 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 willing to and and trying to really hard to open up my heart and i feel like it's happening um because of all the work that they're doing right now okay um so um yeah, and it has to do with the strength card, I think. Um, this, uh, what does it take to be strong enough or seem strong enough or to act strong enough or to come in strong enough? What does it take from me? And they're like, that's why I've been holding on to my heart because, yeah... I, I sort of didn't feel strong enough. I, I I couldn't bear if you know my actions didn't come in correct, and then something happened, and I got embarrassed, and I got shy, or I got confused, or sad, or fearful, and then you know um, that's why I've been holding on to my heart because I didn't have that strength, that belief and trust in myself that I'm hearing right now. Okay, so, oh my God. Um, but this is over. They're like, ah, there's a sigh of relief. I'm changing that, they're saying. Okay. And um, and then I was actually asking, no, we, we're going to have, also, what's uh, what you both of you want here, or what's happening here between you, um, and what what's going on is the sun is coming in. So the clarity that both of you have been seeking with the King of Swords energy and the Tower and everything, 
finally there will be light put upon everything uh, regarding this relationship and truth will be revealed and uh, uh, and it will feel good it will feel like oh finally we are we can relax in each other's you know company or arms or you know whenever we're together uh, there is such a relief happening here like oh, did you feel that I, yeah i felt that too okay oh, wow okay oh, that's so weird we should have said something before because i never knew that you felt that when at that time when we did that or you know and or that other time when we did that and you know and when you looked at me when someone said that and was that what you felt because i, I felt the same oh, what you know <laughs> that's the communication about uh well, all these things that you haven't been able to talk about along the way with each other is is coming in, is happening now, okay? And the next card is <clears throat> actually um, <clears throat> um, what I was asking, um, because we're talking about the actions here what will, will you be taking you know the actions and wants here with the the, the the knight of wands where divine feminine was like you gotta have to light me up again and they're they're like yeah um actually i'm i'm opening up my heart again so um don't worry i will do that you know i will come in correct now and and then i was asking what's going to happen further on like in the long term for these uh two um, and then for the Divine Feminine, we had actually the Empress. I'm so sorry that you don't see me shuffle them because I did it right here on table and they came out like this. Uh, so, um, but, um, but I like it because now um, I'm channeling uh, these cards, um, I feel like in a better way than before. So, um, so that's good. This Empress is, you know, oh my God, uh, I, I, I need to take this inner child out here and the rejection energy up here, fear of rejection and this inner child because we have a divine feminine who is, you know, what? I mean, we, am I afraid of being rejected? What do you mean? What are you talking about? You know, <laughs> um, because I'm me. I am me. I'm just, um, and I care for myself. I care for myself. I love who I am. I love my inner child, and I'm my inner child is precious to me. And look here, this divine feminine has a child on her back. That's so beautiful. Again, the, an energy of how this empress uh, cares for herself, for her inner child or a child um, this is such a confident energy of um, a divine female who is no longer scared no longer you know over in this court asking what do you feel about me what do you feel about me what do you feel about me no this empress stays here it's like, I know who I am, I know how much I love myself, I know my worth, and I want to know what I feel. It's more important to me to ask myself, what do I feel? What do I want? What do I long for? Not what do you long for? Why are you not here? What are you doing over here? Like, this is your business. I am taking care of me. All right, so um, in the long haul, then we have the King of Discs for a Divine Masculine. So um, they're stepping up. They're like, yeah, oh my God, this energy is so, this is such a beautiful masculine energy. This is like someone who really steps up and cares for, for his woman or whatever, you know, uh, and uh, provides for her, takes care of her and really is loving toward her and so compassionate and kind and um, really loves his wife, whatever, you know. Um, uh, so I'm hearing that everybody can see how much he loves this divine feminine 
how much she cares for this divine feminine and this divine feminine can all, always feel his undivided you know attention and love and and has complete trust in this divine masculine over here like i can relax in my life because i trust you i just trust everything about you and us in our relationship and vice versa this divine masculine can trust this empress because the empress would not be the empress uh, together with someone that they didn't want an empress is only together with someone they truly really want forever and for good right so um and that is what the divine masculine can feel and sense right now and when i said that i felt like the divine masculine goosebumps sort of came through me and i i feel like i was asking is this a deceased loved one or but i feel like it's more like oh my god a divine masculine got goosebumps when i said this divine feminine is sure about you 100 percent sure they wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you for who you are, for everything that you are, Divine Masculine. All these doubts about you are only yours. They have never been hers. Never, ever. Okay? To this Divine Feminine, you are perfect, Divine Masculine. Nothing but perfect. And you have always been perfect from the moment she laid eyes on you. You were just perfect. And then you try to do all these blah, blah things back and forth and uh, try to impress her and try to, uh, I don't know, invite her, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, or just uh, Divine Feminine was like, why don't you just relax and be who you are? Because you're already perfect to me. <laughs> you are. You're already perfect to me because you're my twin. So it doesn't matter what you do and how you act and what kind of job you have or how much money you make or how funny you are or are, you know, not, or uh, I don't know how, how good you look physically. It's like none of that matters. To me, you're just perfect. And that's it. And that makes this Divine Masculine come into his uh, Ace of Wands energy here. Because, and now we're doing the sexual talk again, I feel like. <laughs> um, because there is something inside of this Divine Masculine that they have released. And it, it doesn't have to be sexual per se, but it's, it could also be the... Um, the what's the english word for it when you the the herit when you inherit a sin um you know the the sin that has been brought from well whenever christianity sort of arrived um and religion arrived and priests started to uh, write the bible and um, b been telling people how sinful they are and how much they have to pay or how much they have to um, um, regret whatever this is a sin that's been carried in, oh you know um year after year and it's you know uh, coming into thousands of years now so it's like um it's sort of that energy that they also are releasing like it's not only the, their life this life but it's the lineage of them that the entire lineage of them they're erasing this uh inherited sin and shame yeah so I'm hearing it has nothing to do with uh, their um, it goes deeper than their 
inexperience or you know their insecurity around their body if this is for someone right it goes even deeper than that it comes from some something else even deeper and this is what they are racing because this divine feminine came into their life you know the fear of failure the fear of not being good enough the fear of being a sinner And they're not. I'm just getting no one is. They're not. They're definitely not a sinner. And I feel like it's in a collective right now that we are erasing a lot of that old energy and of that old par paradigm where um, we have been told we were sinners. Um, and, and many um, couples right now, many twin flames are raising this energy in the world right now. All right, so, well, we have the last card here. It was for both of them. Temperance came out, you guys. So the camera shut down again. It's the thing when you do readings in the middle of the night and you don't take care of your phone or my camera beforehand, <laughs> sorry. Uh, temperance came out and well it's such a great card to stop or this reading or end this reading I want to say because um, temperance is a card that to me is um, the marriage of um, oil and water that mix, mixes you know well together um, I, I just love it. Uh, it's um, an, an energy that is brought by the angels. It's a twin flame energy, completely uh, the best twin flame energy uh, of them all. I'm just getting, and um, yeah, it's um, it's a card of survival. It's a card of uh, we'll get through it no matter what. This energy and. Um, and I know you, yeah, you know me, and um, yeah, this is love, nothing else. It's so clear, and it's so beautiful, and it's so caring, and it's just, there is no question about it. It's just love, and that's it. And there is nothing better, there is no one else that can make up for you that can make me happy other than you because you are the love of my life you are the love of my life that's what they're saying to each other here and now it's clear to us both where we're going with this relationship where we both want to go with this relationship so i see uh lovely beautiful life together i see moving in together getting married for many of you i see uh just um really uh completing each other and creating from out of that completion lots and lots of creative beautiful things in life and happiness and joy and and money and richness and whatever you know feeling rich on a you know personal level and happy every day on a personal level having someone all the time you can talk to someone who's your friend who's your lover uh, someone you have great sex with and have beautiful um, talks with and someone you want to know all the time how did your day go what you what happened or uh, listen I have something to tell you and they're, they're like oh, okay what happened and someone who will always listen and be there right that kind of relationship is coming in so um and now I got the goosebumps again. I feel like spirit is supporting this so much. And also I feel like both divine masculine and divine feminine got the goosebumps. They were like, oh my God, really? <laughs> is this what's gonna happen? I really hope so. And uh, yeah, I felt it coming, but sometimes I really doubted it. And, and now I see I just have to stick with it. 
I just have to be patient and stick with it because it takes time to work on these huge things that have to be um, erased from our state of consciousness because it's been like that for for not only for my life but from you know the all the lineages behind me all the lives behind me all my ancestors behind me it's huge things that each of you are letting go of right now okay and that's why it's like oh my god it's, it's scary shit <laughs> but this is love this is true love you guys all right so um <clears throat> thank you so much for watching i need to go to bed again <laughs> um, um thank um, i'm 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 uh, thankful that my my kids are not here so i can sleep in <laughs> so i can have a little late morning <laughs> uh, so um but um, I really enjoyed making this reading for you guys. Um, I'm going to have to sort of clip it together, I know. Um, but, uh, well, um, sometimes the energy when I sit in front of a computer or a camera or something like that, it messes it up. My energy is messing stuff up. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that's how it is. And I think mo a lot of you know that. How, how that works all right so uh, wow thank you so much mary elta roe i'm i'm so happy to have used your cards today and uh to universal love and to stina keholm anderson uh this was a great reading with your cards so so powerful um i think i'll use you a little bit more <laughs> all right so thank you so much for watching you guys Oh my God, I love you so much. I'm sending you so much uh, caring vibes and uh, so much support. Like you can get through this. That energy is coming out here. You can get through this and you will. You will get through it. Okay? So, uh, yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Lots of blessings and uh, best wishes. Take care. Bye-bye.